Hi everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm launching my brand new Easy Pop-Ups collection. So it's literally that. If you want to do something very basic, you can. However, it also allows you to make those showstoppers. So something quite elaborate you can do with this set. It's also launching with five brand new stamp sets. So they coordinate perfectly with this collection, but also past collections. And anything you already have in your stash, you can literally use these pop-ups with anything. So it's a really, really good set to have. I've got lots of nice samples to share with you now. And I will also be live on Friday, the 1st of April. And I'll have a couple of hours and I'll be doing some nice demos with it all then. But today's the day where the best bundle offers. And there's also a free gift if you spend over a certain amount. So today's the day that you want to buy. So I did promise that I would share all of that with you. Because I know lots of you like to make sure that you're going to get the best deals. Also got a fun paper pad, which is a nice addition to this, but it's a great one for past collections because it's all about seams. And I've got some tools to share with you as well. So let's flip the camera around and we can have a closer look. So this is all the new product. So this is the bumper die sets. This is your simple pop-ups. You've got tons of dies in here. You get 11 in total and they will allow you to make kind of three different styles of pop-ups, but then you can do lots within those three, I guess, designs. So you've got these three here, which work really well with these ones. This one is just literally pass it through once and you just, once I show you the videos where you would pop it all out, that's lovely. And then you've got these ones, which allow you to just create really, really fun different pop-ups. So you can have it just on its own as a single. You can then layer up them and you can double them and you can extend them. And like I said, there's just so much you can do with it. So they all have a score line, but this is cut lines on the side. And that's what, you know, brings it all together. So that's the main die set. This will, like I said, work with anything you have in your stash. So any stamps and dies that you have, you'll be able to use them with this. They will go into six by six and five by seven. If you've got the five by seven ones, so like this one, it's not um, seven inches wide, but obviously the way that you would put your card in, say it was what well, would be a landscape, which is seven inches and you'd need a larger die cutting machine. However, certain ways you use it, you wouldn't, but it's only to be honest you can use those dies on a six by six so it, it, all of this will go through a standard die machine in terms of its size the widths of these dies they're all small enough but if you want to create certain five by seven looks then you might be restricted i'm also just adding this into the video just to show you the dies and the size because this isn't the size that they are so these are big you know panels so these are the three here and then you've got your more rectangular ones are, you know, to fit within your five by seven, but they will go into any size cards. They will go into six by six as well. Then you've got the ones that are more square for the six by six, like so. This is that one that you just pass through the once. This big one here, you can see you've got all your cut lines there on the back and that will give you your lovely shape. And then these are, the bars so these are the additions which you can be added to these can be added to these it can even be added to this one as well so just wanted to show you the actual dies nice big plates there to create those fun cards just so you can get an idea of the kind of things that they do so it's simple pop-ups so that is a simple one there actually that's even a double you can have it as just the single you could have that as just the single but that's just one idea then you've got this one here this is one of my favourites and this is the this die here. So you pass it through and it gives you this awesome shape. But you can also have it this way as well if you wanted. And then I'll have, you know, your different pattern papers on there. Nice sentiment stamped here. Then you've got, so this is a five by seven version. So you can see you've got your triple together there. That could be a cake tier. It looks good with a six by six, but you can double that and have the same here. You'll see that in a moment. So here's one version. So you can see that way, but you can also have it this way if you want. And then I've got this one here. So that's the six by six. So you've got the main one in the middle. Then I've built up these on the you know either side. And then again, so you've got that style. But like I said, you can have them this way or you know this way, covered with your pattern papers or with all of the elements, which I'm going to show you in a moment. It's really, really fun. So that's just a few plain kind of mock-ups that I did there just to give you a, an idea. I'll go through the stamp and die combos and then I can show you some more card examples. So these all come as combos. So you get the dies with the stamps. So you've got here Happy Days. 
lovely big cakes. These big ones, the big stamps, they look great on the front of the double slider. So if you've got the double sliders, they look the square one as well, especially the owl plates. I'll show you that in a moment. It looks really, really cool. The everyday pop-up one looks really good as well. So you have this on the front and then when you pull the pull tab, you can have all your different you know, birthday icons that would pop up from there, which looks really nice. So again, like I said, trying to make sure that past collections also work with this. And I can't wait to share tutorials with that. You've got your lovers in the air. Again, you've got the dies there to cut it out. I wanted these as silhouettes because it's just easy. Stamp it in black or you can stamp it with heat, you know, silver with heat embossing. Looks really nice. Love the car. And then these will allow you to create an archway. You'll see that in a sample in a moment. And then just all your different icons there. So you can have it as an engagement, wedding, um, Valentine's. You know, you can uh, change it up. And um, it's just really nice. I love the bouquet as well. Really pretty. Then we've got this one here. This is a favourite as well. So you've got all of your icons. So whether it's a new home, it could be a birthday for somebody who's got maybe a she shed or a man cave. Because I've had this little sign done here and it says she shed and man cave. Um, new home, sold. And then you've got all these. Now, these will allow you to build a house. So in the com in the dies that come with it, you get this die here, which will give you a house shape. And then you can stamp like the wood effect and all the different doors, whether you want a shed or a house. And you can make your own little home. And again, I'll show you that with the samples in a moment. And then there's this one. This is probably my favourite, to be honest. I love this. I love the big owl plate, which looks great. Kind of if you cut with like um, like a jagged cut or literally tear it in half. So it looks like they're ripping up their owl plates because they've now passed their test. Beep, beep, congratulations. And then you've got all your different kind of um, traffic signs. You've got your keys there, the cones, traffic lights and everything. So, and this is another one, like I was saying, that looks really good on the front of like the double slider or on the pop-up. So when you pull the pop-up, things like this would pop out. You can also die cut this and cut around it with the dies and make it into a pop-up box card really really good and all these icons would be you know all kind of popping out the top so like i said lots and lots of um you know endless ideas really so you can see that's the dies there so that's the die and stamp combos then we've got these two new stamp sets so this one here is modern alphabet stamp set and it's lovely again used it a lot on the examples in a moment but it's just a good one to have in your stash I love Alphabet, whether it's dies, stamps, and I wanted this more modern style. And it's a really nice size as well. So great if you like to personalise your cards. And then this sentiment set works across all of these stamp sets that I've just showed you, but also just a nice, you know, if you're someone that likes sentiment stamps like myself, it's a nice little addition. So you've got have a really awesome day. So if someone's into their cards and stuff, it doesn't have to be like if you've passed your test, it can just be a nice birthday card. Hooray for today. Quick get off the road. They've passed. I love that one. Garden party and these fit nicely in here. My happy place. You've passed with flying colours. A special place to call your own. Team bride. It's party time. Today's all about you. May your birthday be fueled with laughter. To the happy couple. Happily ever after. Enjoy your new home and creating happy memories. You said yes. And then this one I love. So it's in the style of a number plate. Happy birthday. Love is in the air and then my happy place is my home and garden. So some lovely sentiments in that one. And then you've got this lovely little paper pad. So we've added this one to here. So it's got the elements of like passing your test and congratulations and love. But it will also work with lots of my past collections. But lots of people were saying they wanted a smaller 6x6 because a lot of my paper pads are 8x8. But the smaller 6x6 popular people seem to like that size so this is going to work great with the again i say the sliders the swing cards because you've got your scenes here and you can have elements of this the swing collection will work really nice with again those stamps and stuff that i've just showed you there so if i just go through each one here so you've got i have been using this one so we've got this scene then we've got this one here Nice bold one. And you can fussy cut these pieces as well. I love this one. And you've got your hearts. And then we've got this one here. So it's the same icons in the stamp set. And then we've got our other scene, which is this one here, right in front of me. So that's the paper pad, six by six. 
and then lastly i've got my essential tool set so this is a sweet little wallet you've got the made to surprise polka dot on the front lovely turquoise trim and the made to surprise logo and then inside you've got this pocket so you can pop anything in there and then you've got an embossing folder two very pointy precision tweezers lovely strong metal ones there you've got an angled one and you've got your straights they're perfect for picking up you know little embellishments placement of dies and things like that very handy metal ruler i've always got a metal ruler at hand i prefer the metal rulers you've got um six inches 15 centimeters and then you've got a double ended pickup tool so this is a wax ended one you've got protectors on there so you just pull off that and that's going to pick up all those little embellishments so when you're placing like sequins flat back pearls anything like that this will pick it up even your little you know small die cuts and things like that and you've got pretty little uh, like gemstones in the middle there and then you've got your pokey tool so again nice and sharp it's got a little protector on the end of there but you could of course you know change this up take things out if you're you know traveling around and it will hold like i said oh my tags come off and it will hold more stuff as well in there but it's a really nice little addition there um especially if you're getting if you're just starting out card making and crafting this is going to be a really useful one for you i think so that's everything that we're launching that's all the new products so let me show you some samples so if i go with this one first so six by six size haven't decorated the fronts because these are all samples six by six size and then when you open it up you have this wonderful pop-up so you can see there the owl plates all of the different icons and then using that lovely alphabet stamp you've passed stamped all of the other images there as well and this is using those long panels there's a long one here and then another long one here so that's you know so quick and easy to do but obviously it looks like you spent a long time putting that one together so that's one example with that one let me show you this one here which shows you that really intricate one again that's another have a wheelie awesome day happy birthday with a number plate i think that's so fun with all the different icons there and then let's do so this is more of a simple pop-up style so there's two of them on top of each other there and then this is the building the home well i've turned it into a little bit of like a shed really she shed my happy place is my home and garden you can see I've put that together. I love the trees, but you can turn them into bushes as well. I've just cut off the, the tree trunk there. Little windows. You've got the little flower boxes. Picket fence. And then you can see one of the papers there I've used in the background. Another example of this one is for a new home. So you've got the keys, the wheelbarrow, the sold sign. And stamped all of the roof effect there. And then that all folds again down to six by six size and they stand up really nicely as well keep them with the garden theme you can see how i've used it with this style here see all that detail enjoy your new home and creating happy memories garden party and again you can see how that all folds down and then the wedding one with the arch this is wonderful now gorgeous effect that you can create got the cars the bouquet and this is using the additions these are the strips and you can build them on top of each other so there's two on top there you've got the cake on the end of that one to the happy couple lovers in the air and then some more of the icons there and you've got the silhouette of the bride and groom and then that all folds down into your six by six size but it's such a surprise when they open it up again that all stands up nicely most simplest one like i said the name simple pop-ups is this one it's just got that one piece and then i've just added the little additions there the shortest ones with the bride and groom some of the hearts that lovely paper and just the car so you know no coloring really there i've just added a little bit of red but that's otherwise how the it's stamped these are stamped in black and then these are just die cuts that's the sentiment i just used the you said yes from the smaller stamp set didn't stamp the yes from that bit and then added the yes with that lovely alphabet stamp set and the papers there and then the birthday ones i love this one this is one of my favorites as well is this one here 
those birthday cakes are just such a great size and i've just built up the balloons you got the beer bottles happy cake day and again that all folds down into your six by six size and it just naturally pops up and it all stands and displays really nicely you can see all the additional pieces that are in there so no card will ever be the same you can literally add and you know take away whatever to create just different looks it's just such a fun style and then this is kind of a simple one again there's two layers there so i've got the smaller one i think that's the medium size and then the small that's the large and the medium and then you could have the small again on top you can see i've done all the balloons behind the cake and then for this one i've just taken the sentiment so it says may your birthday be fueled with laughter i just didn't stamp the laughter and i just added the cake using the alphabet there I think that's a really cool one. So this one didn't take too long to do. I've used coloured pencils to colour mine, but you could use alcohol markers. That's obviously going to be quicker. Again, all folds down. And then my last sample is this one here. And this is kind of like a zebra crossing. Quick, get off the road. They've passed. And then you've got all those icons there again. I've also got some samples that Gemma has made and I'll be sharing them on Friday during the um, Craft Sash launch. But like I said, today is the official launch where you'll get the best deals and everything. I know people like to buy beforehand. So that's everything. So I hope you like this latest collection from me. I think there's something for everybody, whether you're someone that just likes the paper pads, you want a good alphabet stamp set, um, you just want some new, you know, uh, occasion or themed kind of stamp sets to go with things you already have. You just want the dies to do all the pop-ups because like I said, that works with anything you already have. There really is something for everybody here. I love this one, the homes and gardens, just because you can create quite a few different things. There. Like I said, the, the she shed and the man cave and things like that, I think is quite good. And use it with things you've already got. And um, I can't wait to start sharing tutorials, doing my mix and match on Friday, those lives and um, yeah, using all these lovely new stamps and dies. So I will link everything in the description box below, as I always do. I'll also link to the Craft Stash Live that I will be doing on this Friday. So it's the 1st of April. So obviously anybody watching this video at a later date, um, it's the 1st of April 2022 that I will be doing the Craft Stash Live with the demos. So hopefully I'll maybe do two or three demos and I'll have those other samples to show you as well. Thank you as always for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.